Hello and welcome Sumo fans. With the May Basho behind us as another page in Sumo's history, the mountain that squats Yokozuna Terunofuji wins his seventh title from what can be described as a bit of a scary start for him after losing on day one to one of the few men who seem to be kryptonite for the Yokozuna, Komosubi Daesho, who quickly went for the throat, standing the Yokozuna up fast and hard for an Oshidashi victory. Looking to make amends on day two, holding firm against the bear Takayasu, who after a struggle with the Yokozuna, bent the knee while Tero yanked his arm for a Kotanagi victory. Bend the knee and join me. Maigashira 2, East and West, Kiribayama and Kotonawaka respectively are determined for that W against the Yokozuna and have stated so many times. Kiribayama had a fast-paced match, which is the best approach against Terunofuji, but suffered defeat and was slammed to the ground and most likely winded for his troubles on day three. While on day four, the young Kotonawaka allowed Tero to get both hands in on his belt, leaving him pretty much defenceless to the Yokozuna's power, losing by Yorikiri. Both of these men are definitely going to be Sanyaku mainstays in the near future. I say it all the time, and I've actually said for a while that Kiribayama will be the next Mongolian to make Yokozuna. What do you guys think? No doubt some would say probably Hoshoru or even Hokuseho when he finally gets to the top. Better yet, who do you guys think will be the next Yokozuna period, be it Japanese, Mongolian or otherwise? Let us know in the comments. Day 5 seen an overwhelming victory for Terina Fuji against Hokoto Fuji who ended up doing the splits as he was dominated by the Yokozuna who then marched into day six quite cautious at facing one of those guys who seemed to be his kryptonite again. Sumo's Iron Man, Tamawashi, who has defeated Tero in the last two Basho in a row. Leaving nothing to regret at the Tachi Ai, Tamawashi made sure to use speed and power as he raised the Yokozuna and dispatched him in a very dominating fashion. And with that, has another notch in his achievement belt as that's the first time anyone has defeated a Yokozuna three times in a row during Basho's in over 50 years, doing it while being the oldest man in Makauchi, truly an old war dog. So, with two defeats and the Sanyaku being more than lacklustre this Basho, it seemed fans looked to the Maigashira men to cause an upset and take the Yusho for their own. Tero had other plans on day seven, as he slapped down Endo by Hataki Komi and marched into day eight with renewed confidence and was stopped in his tracks by former Sanyaku man Takanosho. While Tero did throw down Takanosho at the edge, he stepped out beforehand as you see here and Takanosho was given that W. So by day nine, the leaderboard was filled with just Maigashira as Tero was set to face Tobizaru. Never a dull moment facing the flying monkey as he made the Yokozuna work for the win, finally being wrapped up in losing by Kimidashi. With some regain confidence again after his day nine win, but no doubt had the fact that he was joint second place and had tough opponents ahead. Day 10, seen him face Hoshoru, who wanted to prove he could hang with the Yokozuna and barreled straight into him but his efforts proved futile as Terunofuji made short work of the young Mongolian dragon, winning by Yori Taoshi. On day 11, against Abe, who is a great pusher thruster in his own right, stood the best chance of making Terunofuji fall to four losses, but the Mongolian mountain decided to fight fire with fire and gave Abe a dose of his own medicine, winning by Oshidashi, and a quick victory under his belt and securing his catchy koshi. Day 12, and with his catchy koshi the day before, it was Sekiwaki Wakatakakagi's turn to see if he could move the mountain, and boy, did he fight hard. Waka's balance is probably the best on the doyo today, but like fellow small man Toby Zaru, he made a mistake and found himself tied up for a Kimidashi victory to the Yokozuna.
Day 13, in my opinion, seen probably one of, if not the best top division bouts this basho, as the human battering ram Takakesho faced down the Yokozuna with pure ferocity, but Tero has learned a lot fighting Takakesho, like many do, and handled it very well, eventually getting the belt and dispatching the Ozeki. There was a point in the middle where they separated and stared into each other's eyes, tearing the Fuji just to give him that look of, what are you going to do now? Come on, son. And of course, Tax had gave everything he had just before this and had gassed out by this point. It was just predator hunting prey after that. Day 14, nobody was worried, and rightly so, as Terry Fuji smoked Ozeki Shodai more easily than any other opponent this whole basho. Walking into day 15 and Terry Fuji must have been nervous, although not showing it, as Takanosho, Sadanumi and Daesho all had the same scores after their bouts that day, so Terry Fuji needed to win today as a playoff may not have went in his favour. Two of these possible playoff opponents had already defeated him during the basho and usually get the upper hand against him. But you know who else was nervous? Me Takeumi. You could tell after his false start and his meh performance this tournament that he was rattling, just wanting that W over the Yoko and give the fans the playoff everyone so wanted. Coming out hard, Terry Fuji wasted no time in getting the Mawashi before lifting Matakumi, who is not a small man, off the ground a couple of times, dragging him to the ring's edge and taking his seventh Yusho. And although it's great to see others win Yusho sometimes, this is how it should be, a Yokozuna winning, and I am glad despite injury and his knees and everyone thinking due to him pulling out in March that his time may be up and just writing him off in most cases, that he proved he deserves his rank again and climbs the ladder of Yusho numbers. He has surpassed the six Yusho of Kakaru and now he aims to get double digits of 10, breaking Harima Fuji's record of nine. There is a link to his championship interview in English in the description box if you missed it. And that's it for this video, guys. Congratulations to Yokozuna Terana Fuji and good luck in July. More videos coming this week. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. Oh, what a nugget!